Hi YouTube, this is my video on the Leatherman Charge ALX. This video will be the top 5 things a Leatherman could do to make this better. It's great, but... Okay, number one, pocket clips. They don't last... Well, they don't last with me. And I've gone through two or three, and I'd really like to see an improved strengthened version. My suggestion would be instead of having them slide into that specific spot on that specific side is to screw them on. Now with doing that it would mean that my friend who's left-handed can put the pocket clip on the other side and that would be great. It would also mean that he could tip up, tip down carry it that way. So I think that that would be a great addition. Which speaks to my second point, customability. The reason he wants to change the pocket clip or change the blade is that when he draws it, as we're, sorry, when I draw it out of my pants, that's how it sits in my hand, my right hand's there, and bang, I have the blade. When he pulls it out, he doesn't get the blade, and he'd like to get the blade. So I'd like a strengthened pocket clip, which you can change, but that leads to my second point, which is customability. I'd really like to be able to change the where things are. Well, actually, I'm fine with the outside tool set, but I have another friend who pocket carry, um, who pouch carries a surge, and he wants to when he pulls it out of the pocket, he wants that side to be the plain blade. But then if he pulls it out of the pouch with his left hand, he wants that to be a blade. So he wants to know whatever side's next to him or away from him, that's where the blades are and that's what he wants. So, because to, to get a blade, no, no. Both blades are designed to be accessed with the right hand. So the ability to put two blades on the same side would solve his problem. Um, having on the inside being able to choose an awl or scissors or something like that. So you go to the website and you say I want this body, so the Charge ALX or the Charge TTI or the Surge and then you can put in the tools that you want. Now I understand that there's going to be difficulties and there'll be an extra cost but um, I'm sure people would be willing to pay to get exactly the tools they want. You can also offer a Still, um, a knife upgrade, and you can go from 154 to S30V or whatever Leatherman choose. Personally, I've had no issues with the 154, but who doesn't want better? Screws is my third point. Um, if you're going to go to customability, then let's lose these proprietary, horrible, sharp, aggressive screws. They're, they're very proud, they, they stick up. No need for that. I don't see why you would have something that aggressive. Um, yeah, so change the screws. Number four, smooth the blade. Um, I got my Lansky system and got the 1000 grit ultra smooth thing. And instead of putting it in the vise and just doing the edge, I put it on the flat and polished it. And if we bring it up, if we can get it, get the sun just right, and there we go. Now you can see three rough patches down here, and one up here. So the smooth patches are where the stone has actually polished the blade. And so there are one, two, three, four patches on this side of the blade, where there are some humps and hollows. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my up to the and I'll just open up the other blade. Now before I started, both blades, the, both the smooth blade and the serrated edge had the same finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my fingernail up and down the smooth blade or the polished, the plain edge blade that I have polished and then I'll do the serrated blade and then I'll go back to the smooth blade and see if you can hear the difference. Okay, that's the plain edge polished blade. This is the serrated non-polished blade. Ok, 
Okay, back to the polished blade. So that's just sliding my fingernail up and down the blade. So you can hear the difference that I've made. And it's definitely made it a better slicer. Which, to my detriment the other day, um, I didn't pull my... Well, I pulled my thumb out. I went to... I opened it, opened up a clamshell packet, closed it, and then for some reason put the thumb back in and closed it. Never done that before, but it's always first time for everything. And number five is the crimpers, the end of the blade. Do not like them, never use them, never going to, but I have rude the fact, I have distressed over the fact that they are, I have cursed the fact that it is there. Um, so, yeah, lose the crimpers. Nobody's going to use it. Well, the odds of anybody using it is very slim, and it vastly reduces the usable area. It almost, it's about a third of the usable area gone. Um, these are fantastic pliers. People carry tweezers, but I just use the ends of my pliers because they close up so well. So, I'm not a Leatherman hater. I love the tool and I will carry it until Leatherman basically do all five of those upgrades and that will be awesome and then I will put this into an EDC bag and buy the new and improved in whatever form that takes whether there's a brand new charge or whether they have the customable option, customable option. So just quickly, improved pocket clip um, Custom ability, select the tool set. So that's whether that's undoing the screws and doing it yourself, or you order one online with the S30V upgrade and the steel and the tool set that you want in the locations that you want. Remove these aggressive screws, smooth the blade. Sorry, that still hurts. And you can't do it with the blade open, with the pliers open. Smooth the blade and ditch the crimpers. So anyway, that's just my take on it all. Great, but. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below, and thanks for watching.